But this wasn't the first time that a dead woman would be connected to this man. Back in 1983, Bush, who was 20 years old at the time, left a bar with 22-year-old Michelle Frederick. On the way home, he crashes his new Corvette, and his passenger is ejected out of the car. She dies. After the crash, Bush is still very much alive, so he decides to leave the scene. He doesn't decide to call the police or to call help. Instead, he decides to begin walking home. Hours later, police discover the crashed car, but also the body of Miss Frederick. In the driver's seat is a jacket that actually contains the license of Bush himself. Around 8.30 a.m., deputies go to his house and find him home. When questioned by police, he claims that he doesn't remember anything and he has amnesia. When police would interview Miss Frederick's roommate, she would say that the two had met that night at the bar right before close. But all witness accounts report that Bush was driving the Corvette on the way home when the two left the bar. What's odd is when Bush is finally taken to the hospital hours later, nobody thinks to actually check his blood for a blood alcohol content. Surprisingly, after a seven-month investigation, authorities decide to not press any charges against him because there is a lack of evidence.